So the extreme value theorem. It says that if, it, if f of x is continuous on a, b, then f of x has both an absolute min and a max on a, b. So basically this tells us that if a line is continuous, it will have a absolute minimum and an and max. So, but if we only analyze it in a certain part, so I would cut the graph. So here's the wheel graph, and then here we have the absolute max, and then right here we have the absolute minimum. And then we go back to this, and then we have the first step, and we relate it back to the first derivative test, which which we will find find the rel relative minimum and max on intervals using the first derivative test. So then um, we have this graph right here. It was is is related back to the first derivative test, and then so we got this point from the first derivative test already, and then we just cut the wiggle graph right here, and then we're gonna analyze these points. So we're gonna evaluate it on these points. So then um, <clears throat> we're gonna plug this plug this in to this function right here, and then it's gonna give us a ten. And then we're gonna do the same thing with this. We're gonna plug this over here, and then we're gonna get negative eight, which is gonna and then we're gonna analyze it, and it's gonna give us our absolute minimum, which is at two right here and then our absolute max will be at negative two.